Good morning, Elliot. You heard me. You keep them warm on your rock, baby boy. Hi. Good morning, Maddie. Go. Good morning. Good morning, my girl. Good morning, Turtle. Good morning, you guys. So we just had a great weekend in Mammoth. Huh, guys? Well, yeah. there's only two of them there because Adam's sick, so I'm letting him stay home. He had a fever of 101. And it's raining, so I didn't want to, you know, make him worse. I think he has bronchitis, so I want him to rest a little bit. But no coffee yet. Anyways, I'm going to go drop them off at school. Yay! And make my coffee when I get home. My hair's curly because Carly put me in braids this weekend, so I didn't have to do anything and worry about my hair. And, yeah. It's different. I think it's cute, but whatever. Anyways, I love it. It's a rainy day, so, like, I just don't give a... <laughs> Off to school. Here we go. Later, dudes. Bye. Have a great day. Bye. 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 Mm -hmm. <laughs> Time to go home and make coffee. Before I forget, let me just tell you that this is a collaboration with Daniela Diaries. Her name is Danielle, and she's on Instagram and. Um, she has a YouTube channel and let me just show you some of her YouTube videos really quick I'm also gonna link her full day of eating down below which is our collab video okay, so these are her recent videos so she's got like what I eat in a day video and she also has a bikini try on like we've been doing YouTube for a similar amount of time so check her out guys so this is her Instagram sorry if there's a big old glare but um, she's really active on here she does stories and you know here's some of her posts she does a lot of selfies and stuff like that so if you guys are interested in checking that out, and she updates her progress and stuff like that, so yeah. All right guys, so I just packed some espresso into my little espresso filter, and I am going to take my little glass and I'm gonna put some pink salt in there. I did this in my last video, so you guys, if you wanna check out like step-by-step, step, I'll show you. But I'm just going to uh, brew the espresso straight into here so it dissolves the salt. And I am going to put some hot water, some liquid sucralose, and two tablespoons of heavy cream in here and steam it up. I have about eight to 10 ounces of hot water. I would say more like 10 ounces of hot water in here, the two tablespoons of heavy cream and that liquid sucralose. And what I'm gonna do now is turn on my steam wand, which is that. Just gotta turn it on. And then it's gonna start um, putting out some hot steam so I can froth up my um, cream and water mixture. Mmm, looks good. Let's pull one more. Without doing anything else, I'm just gonna click the double shot again. Comes out more foamy the second round. Mmm, looks so good. That was so messy. What the hell am I doing? I hope you guys can even see that. Now for the taste test. It needs a little bit more sweetness. This is my sweetener of choice for coffee. For other things besides coffee, I don't care what kind of sweetener I use. It could be stevia, it could be this, it could be like a granulated erythritol or stevia blend or monk fruit. But for coffee, this is my absolute favorite. I'm going to put a little bit more and a little bit more pink salt on top. So good. It reminds me of salted caramel. Salted caramel or salted caramel. Uh, put some pink salt in your coffee. It's so good. I need a haircut so bad. Look at this, guys. Oh my gosh. I need to get a trim because this is not cute. I'm going to chill and drink my coffee and enjoy being home because I've been gone for two days. So I'm going to chill out with Ryan because he's off and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Right, so it is 12.30 and I'm not really that hungry. So what I'm going to do is make an iced Americano. This time I'm just gonna put my salt right on top of my ice. And just a like a that. 30 grams of heavy cream. Or 34. We'll do 34. Mmm, I like it like that. For this right on top. Mm. Add a little bit of water to my cream just so I can froth it up because it's gonna be super good. We'll just call this a full day of drinking coffee video. Don't joke me. I only drink like two a day. A little less hot water so we don't melt our ice and make this taste like dirty water. Now I'm gonna pour this on top. Mmm. That looks good. Look how creamy that is. Can you see? I'm gonna squirt a little bit of the devil in there. And I'm out. So. 
That's okay. Whoa, hi. I'm trying to reduce my sweetener intake anyway. Who cares if I drink two coffees a day or one? You know, sometimes I do one, sometimes I do two. Like I say, it all depends on my mood. So I'm just gonna drink a little bit and then add the rest of the foam on top. <laughs> it's not sweet at the bottom yet. <sighs> I have some hard-boiled eggs, so I might do some deviled eggs today. I'm not really 100% sure because I don't really remember what I have in my fridge. Except for hard-boiled eggs and regular eggs and hot dogs. I'll check with you guys when I get the kids from school and make my first meal. So it's time to pick up the children. I hate when I'm on a roll, like, cleaning up and doing laundry and, like, in the middle of four different things. And I gotta stop and, like, take a break to go down there and get them and then come back. And I kind of lose my mojo. So let's hope I can get back to work as soon as I get home. And, yeah, so still nothing to eat. I'm working on my coffee. My cup is looking so nasty. But um, that's what happens when you have foam and stuff like that. Did I mention that it's raining? Oh, at least I bought an umbrella. Just got in from getting the kids and we're sitting in the car right now because they're getting in. Say hi guys. Hi. How was school? Good. Good? Thumbs Not up? Very. My backpack is on the floor. Oh, you gotta get it though. Anyways, I just realized that some of you are coming over from Danielle's channel and I didn't even introduce myself. My name is Michelle. There's Zachary and Uriah. Uriah's right there, kindergarten. Zachary's right here. Adam's right. one sick at home and Aurora is at home and she's just chilling. She's my daughter and these are my stepsons. And then we have an older sister, Carly, and she is, what, 15 now, I think? <laughs> and uh, she lives with her mom, like, you know, for the majority of the time. Yeah, so I've been keto three and a half years, actually more than three and a half years. And I started keto after I had my daughter and I was 258 pounds and then I lost 110 pounds and that took about, my first initial 100 pounds, I think it took a year. And then I reached my goal weight, actually my goal weight was 150, but I reached 147. I don't even remember. I'll have to like throw in like some time frame because it's been so long, you know, I kind of just don't even think about it anymore. After that, I had gained some weight back from, you know, letting the carb creep get me and you know just binge eating which I have gotten under control I have not binged since November so I'm really proud of myself if you guys want to subscribe go ahead and click subscribe and the bell for notifications because YouTube's weird and they don't put all your videos up so if you want to see my videos you'll have to click the bell and then it'll come in your feed I usually post full day of eating videos that's like my number one kind of video I started doing weigh-ins every Monday when I was on my weight loss journey so I have all those videos from when I started I think I was four weeks in when I started making YouTube videos so if you guys want to watch my playlist and and watch me lose the weight and then basically watch the videos up until like you know now then that's cool this morning I weighed in at 189 um, that is actually down from my highest weight after my binging and stuff like that so but I am feeling strong feeling great and I have been totally committed 100% and I'm really looking forward to posting more grocery hauls recipe videos full days of eating and you know whatever else I want to post so I hope you guys subscribe and thank you so much and I will stop talking now hey guys so it is 3.30 and I still haven't eaten. I just had a bottle of water in between my last iced Americano that I had. Right now, I am helping the kids with their homework. I'm going to make some deviled eggs. I have this Splenda Zero, which is stevia. Hard-boiled eggs that I just keep prepped, because that's smart. And then just some homemade mayonnaise. And I do have a video on my channel, but I did make it chipotle mayo, but that's just basically an end step. But I show you how to make the homemade mayonnaise. Some mayonnaise, some yellow mustard, with the yolks and I'm going to put a little bit of liquid stevia and I'm going to because that's empty and I'm, I need to throw it away and I'm going to use some pink salt and probably some black pepper and top it with paprika Alright you guys, so there's my deviled eggs. Well, this is gonna go down and I'm excited. A trick that my late aunt, Deborah Holcomb, taught me is to make your eggs extra, she likes to call it, and I use that term for absolutely effing amazing. You can do half mayonnaise, half softened butter, and mix that in with um, you know whatever your recipe is. So just split the mayonnaise and use softened butter instead. And when you use the butter, it sets up super nicely and it's nice and thick and delicious and filling, satisfying. Just 
amazing. So next time I'll make those for you. But right now I was just feeling like this and my butter's still hard. Normally I have like a stick of butter on my countertop, like that right there. But since we were gone all weekend, I wanted to put my butter in the fridge because normally I just keep it on the counter because I just use it. And it's awesome when it's soft and ready to go. But cheers, deviled eggs. Mm, super good. Sound it out. Mm, uh, mm, uh, not. Good job. All right guys, I'm gonna keep helping him with his homework and I'll check you guys in a bit. I'm just brushing her hair. What is that? We are we just playing? Mm -hmm. This is Aurora, guys. She's my baby girl. All right, we're gonna play some more, and then I'm gonna figure out what's for dinner for me because everyone else already ate. Yay! There's no food. I'm sorry to disappoint you. Elliot's gonna get it. <laughs> is he gonna eat him? His protein right there. He's taking cover underneath you, Elliot. I want to see. He sees him. Yep. He likes his protein fat. These are pretty fatty. There you go. Good job. You're hungry again? You can't have worms though. Yucky! I was just looking on my fitness pal and I was making sure to log everything in. So I went ahead and did my heavy cream. I don't log my coffee or like teas or anything like that. So here is my heavy cream that I added to my coffee this morning. The hot coffee. My other coffee is down here in drinks so I just added my other 35 grams or 35 milliliters of heavy cream there. After my coffees then I had my deviled eggs so that was two servings of my mayo which um, each serving is 15 grams. Four eggs and then I put the mustard in even though sometimes you know I won't because it's just mustard. Dinner I was playing around with what I wanted and what I had available because I haven't been to the grocery store since we were gone all weekend. So I have some frozen salmon and then I have like some lettuce that was in there. I have this lettuce I'm trying to bring it back to life a little bit so I'm going to use whatever's in here. I'm assuming there's about 60 grams worth. I'm not really sure so I just put it in here. 60 grams of that. I'm just going to adjust this so I just put it in here in my fitness pal and it actually came out to like perfect but I'm going to have to make some adjustments adjustments when I actually go and make everything. Um, not very much fiber going on but that's totally fine with me. Um, as long as I get it from like green leafy vegetables. If I eat too many um, like nuts and cheese then I'll regret not having fiber but if I keep it like fats and clean meats and stuff like that then I really um, am fine without uh, too much fiber. And then sugar I like to keep it under five grams if possible. Today I had a really good day. Usually I'll have some like unsweetened chocolate dipped in some monk fruit extract mixed with erythritol. Um, as my treat. I try not to do a lot of nut flour treats. Okay, so I just chopped and rinsed my lettuce and so there's 111 grams so I'm gonna adjust, adjust that in my fitness pal because I don't want to put just a tiny bit of lettuce away so I was like I'll just eat it. So that's gonna be my salad portion of my salmon Caesar salad tonight. So in here I went ahead and looked off my little list. I have two tablespoons of my homemade mayonnaise, half of a teaspoon of anchovy paste, two tablespoons of white vinegar, some pink Himalayan sea salt, and some black pepper. Since I already have a little bit of garlic in my mayonnaise I'm not gonna add more more garlic. I'm going to add two tablespoons of this Parmesan cheese to it. One tablespoon is five grams, so I'm going to do 10 grams of the Parmesan cheese. So 111 grams, so that would be 1.11 for 100 grams being like what the serving size is. It would be 1.11 to put 111 grams. Switch that to three servings. So that's three tablespoons. So I'll show you at the end when I get everything adjusted and I'll show you my final nutrients page. Alright, I'm just going to put this in the refrigerator until I'm ready to toss the salad together. So I'm going to adjust my fitness pal and change the salmon to 7 ounces. Okay, so now my calorie goal is still within range. I am at 1529 calories and my goal is 1550, so I have 21 calories remaining. And I'm going to be using the 2 tablespoons of lemon juice and 2 tablespoons of butter. One tablespoon of the lemon juice to my salmon packet and one tablespoon of the lemon juice is going to go on top of my salad. I'm at 78. I have 78 from protein. Whoa, that's so cool. So that worked out perfect. Um, carbs, I have total 9 with 2 grams of fiber, 7 net carbs for the day. And I'm under my 5 grams of total sugar for the day. And I'm just a little bit over on fat, but that's okay because I'm also under on carbs. So it worked out perfectly fine and I'm really excited. I'm just loving being on track, that's all. I haven't seen you in a while, my hair is up now. But um, I'm going to go ahead and put the 2 tablespoons of butter on my salmon with 1 tablespoon of the lemon juice and I'm going to put salt and pepper. I'm going to seal this up 
and when that baby's ready to go, I'm gonna pop her in for that 15 minutes. Salmon has about 26 seconds. I'm gonna open the pouch and then I'm gonna broil it for about five minutes. As for my dressing, I really like the flavor of it. It's really tangy and it's just so good. But it wasn't thick enough, so I wanted to thicken it up. So all I did was I took a little bit of the xanthan gum, sprinkled it in there, and it made it the perfect texture, and it's amazing. So I am going to take my leaves and that and toss it in this bowl and plate it for my salmon for when it's done. For those of you that don't know, we are remodeling and we've been remodeling forever. So that's why my wall looks like that. I cut up my salmon. Let me show you. So after it came out, I just drained off the juices and put them in there because I'm gonna be dipping my salmon in there. I don't like skin unless it's crispy, so I'm gonna just like discard that and just put all the salmon on top of my salad. This is dinner and I am going to thoroughly enjoy it. Let's try it out. Yummy. This is so good. Highly recommend making the salad, you guys. You can use chicken, you can even use like sliced up lunch meat if that's all you have. But um, I highly recommend making your own dressings. I'm not against using um, store-bought dressings. I do sometimes, but when I can make my own dressings, I will. And I've had that anchovy paste in there forever. I make my own mayonnaise, and it's kind of like really easy for me to just throw together like a serving of really delicious like Caesar dressing. So give it a try, you guys. Let me know what you think. And yeah, so that's it. I'm going to eat my dinner. I ended up putting all of the salmon into that bowl that had all the butter and drippings from the salmon when it was cooking. And I just chunked it all up and kind of mixed it up in there and then I just put it back on my salad. <laughs> it's so good. But since I pushed my calories back later and just had my coffee in the morning and then my afternoon coffee, um, sometimes I'll do black tea. It really just depends on like what I'm feeling and I felt like having two coffees today, so that's what I did. And I've been drinking water in between. Um, it's almost 8.30 now, so I'm gonna start getting the kids down for bed. So if you're from Danielle's channel and, I, and if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching and for all of my like loyal subscribers or if you're new or whatever. Just thank you guys so much for watching and supporting my channel. It really means so much to me. Um, yeah, so if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already. Hit that notification bell because if you don't, then you probably won't see anything I upload. Have a great day or night or evening or whatever it is, wherever, whenever it is right now. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.